cop. Tried to poke me in the nose. I did. I didn't try to poke you in the nose. That was somebody else. Cold. How come nobody spends a ton of money putting a fake airplane propeller on, on the front of a building Phelps anymore? Biggs. Phelps, the guy across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. Hurry, you can still catch Let's chase him down. I'm going to punch him in the butt when I catch him. You get back here, you son of a bitch. You barbecued a little kid, and I'm not even allowed to eat him anymore because they changed apartments. On Vice, I could eat all the little children I wanted. Stop! LAPD! Here, I'll help you. There we go. I'm sorry, you couldn't get the door open. I probably shouldn't have helped you do that. There we go. We're going to tackle him in the street. I got, I, got my, I got naked pictures of myself with this German singer. You want to see him? She's pretty hot. I got, I got kind of a weird, got a weird flat white guy ass, but, I mean, she looks great. So, you know, if you want to see those, you just let me know. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. My tie has a dragon on it. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. Hey, thanks for standing up to give us that information. I don't really know Rehab. why, but... You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient. Open your eyes. Proof. Hold it, Cole. There he is. It's Chap. He's coming out of the laundromat. Maybe we sneak up on him. Shit. He's seen us. Cops. Again. Cops. Those are bad ones. I should not be Son caught. Bitch, he stole a streetcar. Thanks for the patch up, Princess. Is everybody I called the Princess? R &R I get for some time. You wanna you wanna fuck real quick before I leave, Princess? Are those bananas? What is that? Bananas and medicine in the same cabinet? You can tell it's the forties. That is not it's not safe. There gonna be some kids in here? There are kids in here. How old are you, princess? Sixteen, mister? Sixteen, eh? That might be legal in Nevada. How old are you really? Nearly thirteen. You're twelve? My god, you got... I mean, I'm just saying. You, stand up and get dressed, but make it real slow. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. <laughs> We'll see about also, that, Jack. can we discuss something? She He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. Does she have no feeling in her vagina? Is that the suggestion that 12-year-olds can't feel a penis enter them? Because I, I, it just seems like, I don't know, incorrect. I don't have anything in my past experience to disprove that, but it seems wrong. Really wasted my own time with that one. Guy climbs stairs like an asshole. Twenty nine seconds north. Uh -huh. One hundred and eighteen degrees. Seventeen minutes. Fifty eight seconds. Man, look at me moving that thing. No wonder Elsa's interested in me. Look at that finger work. Oh yeah. That's why we get what they get the thumb on the brown spot and the finger on the pink spot. <laughs> yeah, and then Elsa's happy. You think he thought I was going to bring guys? I don't think he thought I was going to bring guys. Shot my fucking hat off. And then I tripped. <laughs> so I always look where you're going in the middle of a firefight, kids. Aha! Man, I look good. I look like I just pissed myself and I'm really disappointed about it. Oh, not again. Howard Hughes. Millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex-dirty cop and business fixer. I found a similar tie pin along with a dead guy in a fridge. You know, it kind of looks like Howard Hughes just suggested that, you know, maybe he'd like to have a little anal sex with Mapes. And then Mapes is kind of kind of offended, but he's, he's kind of like, well, maybe. All right, I did it. Call. Can you help me with a little experiment? Does it involve Use free the sandwiches? In front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the petri dish. Why are you smiling like I'm gonna get electrocuted or some shit? Suppressing fire! 
I like people that die right at the end of their animations. They're like, look, I can't just be expected to die while I'm getting out of the car. Once I'm out of it, we can talk, but... It's gotta be one of these places. <coughs> yeah, I'll just keep going door to door until I find, I guess, a missing... Do I have to play Kelso again? God damn it. The arsonists I know he's got a weird shaped dick, I can just tell looking at him. Joints. Hey. Wait, does that- oh, I was supposed to further inspect it? Oh god. Did you have to fold it back up? Who's he folding it back up for? What's he- he's, he's worried the guy's gonna be upset? Yeah, jump! Don't make it a bullshit ending! Don't just say goodbye, god bullshit. Probably I'm fine. It's fine, it's probably fine. And so Cole, unable to be a giant pussy faggot anymore, sacrificed his life for no reason other than to make the ending kind of sad. Because otherwise, it would have just been fine. It's okay, Kelso. You get my sloppy seconds. We're it's, gathered here. It's what I would have wanted. A good husband. He wasn't a good husband. A good father. He fucked somebody else. That's kind of the definition of a bad husband. Father, we don't really know about. We never saw that. A good friend. And I did not commit any crimes. <laughs> Is that the best picture they had of him? Looking kind of like he was about to chew out the photographer. Are you really, you're not taking the picture right. I just, you know, I'm not saying it's, I know I'm not a photographer and you're a photographer, but I just feel like I've been in a lot of pictures. And so I'm pretty sure I know when you're not taking the picture right, you're just not taking the picture right. Cops, those are bad ones.